A portion of a home in Antioch collapsed, killing one person. Peyton Kennedy is here now to walk us through what happened and how the county is now working to improve construction safety. And yeah, Nikki, we're told a portion of the house collapsed when work was being done to it, trapping one person. So this was on Maxwell Road in Antioch around 5 p.m. yesterday. Authorities say they were able to pull the individual from underneath the structure and they were taken to Vanderbilt University Medical Center but did not survive the injuries. So this comes as Tennessee ranks among the most dangerous states for construction workers. Unclear if this incident involved a licensed construction worker or simply a homeowner, but Metro Council is currently working to address construction related deaths. They're considering a bill creating a compliance board for all existing Metro construction contracts. The board will inspect and investigate complaints. If approved by council, the board will have five members, including at least one person with a history enforcing occupational standards. For too long, our city has witnessed tragedies on construction sites where the blood of our workers has been unjustly spilled and their wages stolen. We cannot and must not continue down this path. Every worker, regardless of their trade or background, deserves the fundamental right to return home safely after a day's work and to be justly compensated for their labor. So this bill is on the Metro Council agenda for next Tuesday.